Sarah, what was the difference between your first run and your second run? Yeah, it was, it was a lot better on my second run. I was a bit nervous on my first run. So I think I just had to get them out of the way and then I could go for it on my second run. How much pressure are you under when you go into a second run knowing that you're on the cusp? Uh, I felt a fair bit of pressure well, both before my run and especially before my second run. Um, but at the end of the day, there's only two options. I either made it or I didn't. So I figured I just had to go out there and give it a go, make it happen and came together. Did you feel a lot different on the second run to your first run? Yeah, I sort of got to gate 14 and didn't even realise I was there yet. It all sort of happened quite automatically, um, which I think is always a good sign that you're in the moment. Um, but yeah, I felt a lot more confident and not cautious on my second run. Is it harder when you have the first day sort of sitting back watching everyone race uh, or, or is it easier? Uh, I found it quite hard, like spending the whole day watching everyone go really well. The whole team did really well yesterday and it was like the last man standing had to get through, but uh, it, it all worked out. <laughs> and it looks like you're going to be through to the semi-final. It must be a, a big relief. How do you prepare for a semi now? Um, I spend a lot of time watching the kayaks this afternoon and the C1s and just take a mental break, I think, for the rest of the afternoon. But otherwise, just go for it. And to be here, what's it like being in the World Championships again? Oh, it's excellent. It's always good fun. It's, um, you know, you think about, you sit on the, in the warm-up and you look around and you realise where you are in the world and not everyone gets this opportunity, so it's great. Good on you. Well done, Sarah. Thanks.